Now let's look at another line. This time, this horizontal line we call it a line one. It represents pure redox reaction that does not involve proton or hydroxy group. Horizontal line, in this case line one, that is a pure redox reaction and uh, it does not involve proton or hydroxy group. So you see this line separate solid ion below at the lower potential, more negative potential versus ion 2 plus at the more positive potential. So the electrochemical half cell reaction would be ion 2 plus combined with two electron to form ion solid. Okay, so this would be the electrode or redox half cell reaction. And from this equation, we would have the cell potential would be standard cell potential minus 0 0.0592 volt divided by n, still assuming 25 degrees C times log of product activity for solid ion divided by activity for reactant, in this case, ion 2 plus. So this would be the Munster potential, a uh, Munster equation. And the standard electrode potential for ion 2 plus ion from the table would be minus 0 0.440 volt. Of course, still versus SHE or standard hydrogen electrode. And the ion solid, the activity for solid ion, generally we take it as one. Remember we said activity for pure solid or pure liquid is generally taken as one. And for N, the number of electrons transferred for this half cell reaction, of course it would be equal to two. So with these, we can simplify the Electrode potential would be standard electrode potential minus 0 0.440 volt here minus 0 0.0592 volt divided by n, which is two times log of ion activity, which that is one divided by activity for ion two plus. Okay, and uh, simplify further this minus sign and uh, the activity for ion is in the denominator within the log minus and that minus would cancel out this would be what we have okay and uh, which means the electrode potential versus SHE can be given in this relationship if we do the simple uh, division we would have minus 0 0.440 volt plus 0 0.0296 volt times the log with base of 10 of activity for ion 2 plus. Then remember earlier we said the concentration for ionic species are at 1 millimole, which is 0 0.001 mole per liter of ion 2 plus. For such dilute a solution. The activity quite often can be approximate by the concentration divided by the standard concentration, which is 0 0.001 mole divided by 1 mole. 1 mole would be the standard concentration, and that gives us the activity to be 0 0.001. Activity, remember, is always unitless, while concentration, like C, would be 0 0.001 mole per liter or 1.001 m. Okay, but activity has to be unitless. 0 0.001. And with this number, we put it in, we would have the electrode potential or the potential for this redox pile at this concentration would be minus 0.528 volt versus SHE, which is the position of this horizontal line that separate ion 2 plus from ion 
solid metal. Okay, that's the exact location for this line one. Of course, you may say if the concentration is not one millivolt, the line would move up or down depending on the concentration. Now let's look at line two, another horizontal line horizontal line which means parallel to the horizontal axis it we call it a line two it's also a pure redox reaction that does not involve proton or hydroxy group and line two as you see it separate ion three plus on the top a more positive potential from ion two plus at the bottom with more negative or potential the half cell reaction would be ion 3 plus combined with one electron to form ion 2 plus. From Nernst equation, the electrode potential or the potential for this half cell reaction or for this redox pair would be standard electrode potential E0 minus 0 0.0592 volt divided by n times log of product activity for ion 2 plus divided by reactant activity for ion 3 plus okay of course still assuming 25 degrees c and from the standard electrode potential series from the table you can get the standard electrode potential for ion 3 plus slash ion 2 plus will be 0 0.770 versus she standard hydrogen electrode that gives us a zero E0 and N because this half cell reaction only involves one electron, N would naturally be one. And as a result, the electrode potential would be E0.770 volt minus 0 0.0592 divided by one, which is the same number times log of product activity divided by reactant activity of course it is versus she and remember we said the Pobay diagram let's say it is for 1.0 milliamp which means 0 0.001 amp for both ion 2 plus and ion 3 plus what this mean as we said before would be for such dilute solution, the activity would be approximated by concentration divided by standard concentration, which comes to be 0 0.001 for ion 2 plus. Similarly, we would get the same number for activity of ion 3 plus. Okay, with these, we can calculate the electrode potential or the potential for this redox pile would be standard electrode potential minus 0 0.0592 volt times log of product divided by reactant which are both 0 0.001 and as a result the electrode potential for this redox pile for this concentration at 25 degrees C would still be 0 0.770 volt versus SHE, standard hydrogen electrode. This tells us the location in terms of potential that separate ion 3 plus and ion 2 plus. And what that means is for a given pH, let's say pH 0, very acidic condition, if the electrode potential is more negative than 0 0.770 volt the ion 2 plus would be stable while if it's more positive higher than 0.7 volt the ion 3 plus would be more stable okay 